Among those who witnessed the chaos up close were some Houstonians who are now back home describing the terrifying moments that they experienced last night. Channel 2's Phil Archer is live at Bush Intercontinental Airport tonight with their stories. Phil. There were Houstonians among the thousands gathered in Vegas last night for music and good times, only to find themselves in a kill zone. They're coming home now, describing the horror, the carnage, and the heroism of those long minutes under fire. One couple telling us they're still having a difficult time processing it. Sharon and Tim Clark say it still doesn't seem real. They hid under some sound equipment when the shooting started. They were soon joined by more frightened people. People were laying on top of each other. There were people in there that were hurt and unresponsive. There was a security guard that was laying there that I'm sure was dead. The clucks escaped over a fence and found the carnage flowing into the street. There were pickup trucks, dumpsters, anything people could get to put bodies in, to put hurt people in, to put dead people in. There were bodies everywhere. Sharon says they were surrounded by young people whose lives in an instant were ended or changed forever. Bleeding people, dead people, girls screaming and yelling. I felt very sorry for them because they were young girls and they were there just to have a good time. And then all of this broke out. I mean, it was horrifying. One girl near them was wounded. Like many others last night, Tim stopped to help, bandaged her foot amid the violence around them. I'm mad that there are people in the world like that. They're back now, but those images are burned into the memories of those who survived it. And all of us trying to understand along with them an act that defies understanding. Reporting live at Bush Airport, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Channel 2 News. Well put, Phil. Thank you.